GoDaddy website builder tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can start creating your own amazing website by using the GoDaddy website builder. Now we all know GoDaddy for their cheap and easy to access domains. However, GoDaddy has several other tools and features that you can take a hold of, including their website builder. This provides you a really amazing opportunity to use and create amazing websites with a simple drag and drop editor. Additionally, you can also use their editor to build a website for your domain that you're purchasing with them, or you can just create any free website. So for this, simply head on over to godaddy.com and then go into websites and hosting. Now there are some amazing features that they have emphasized within GoDaddy where you're able to create a website really easily. You're also able to customize, create content, and manage it directly from your GoDaddy workspace. And you're also able to connect your pre-existing domains at a very low price. Now to get started with GoDaddy Website Builder, simply head on over to godaddy.com, websites and hosting, and then click on start for free. Once you do that, you're going to sign up to get started. Now, if you already have an account, you can click on sign in, but if you don't, click on the options given below so you can either proceed with Facebook, Google, or sign up with your email address. I am signing up with my email address to proceed. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna click on start a new site, and then we're going to choose what we're looking to create with our GoDaddy website. So if we're looking to sell products online or if we want to build a website for something else. Let's say we want to build a portfolio website. Now, after that, you're going to specify what kind of website you would like. So for us, let's say this is going to be a fashion blog. Yeah, a fashion blog. And once I have added this category, I'm just going to click on continue. Then you're going to add the name of your project. So let's say this is going to be Project um, Lily. And now we're just going to continue. Now, after that, you're going to enable if you have a business that has a physical address or not. Otherwise, you're just going to enter your phone number and then your email address and then just click on continue. Once you've clicked on continue, you can proceed with adding a little bit about your business. And what this does is that this uses AI and it takes your description and builds a website for you. Then you can make any edits that you would like or you have the other option of skipping this step and just building your own website from scratch. So I want to build a AI-based website, but if you want, we can also skip this step. This totally depends on personal preferences. Now, if you go with skipping this step, you can always browse around with different templates and have a really original idea. So if you already have a really hard and fast idea of how you want your website to look, then getting started is going to be better for you. Now you guys can see we have a couple of different plans on GoDaddy. So we can build a site on GoDaddy, create our online store and use their marketing tools as well. Now I'm going to be continuing with the free version and we can proceed with the sections we want to add. So I want I don't want a review section, I do want an about section, photo gallery, contact, social link, subscribe. And now I'm going to click on continue to my site. Once I've done that, this is going to be the default template that GoDaddy has used for our website. Now, once I browse through this template, I can begin my customization. Now on the right, you will see your site navigation, which means all the pages that your site has. Then you have your theme and then you have your settings. So in this, first you can set up some of your basic information. So you can enter your site name. So instead of Lily, I want this to be Lily's Fashion Diaries. And then after that, we can enter our address, phone number. I'm just going to click on done. Then we have our social media links. So facebook.com slash Lily. And then X, our username is also Lily. Lily, Lily Davis, like so. You can add all of your socials and then just click on done. Then you're also going to set up your favicon as well as add your site history, cookie banners. You can also integrate Google Analytics, Facebook meta tags, or Pinterest meta tags as well. Now we can go into color and start adding our own color palette. So you guys can see you can select a matching color like this. 
like so. You can set up your own color palette. And this is going to be dependent on what your personal style is and what the purpose of your website is. So you can play around with colors and set up your own themes as well. I think I'm going to go with a darker color just because I just like it. So I'm just going to use this color. And then on number three, I might want to go with the one light color. And then below that, you can also set up your primary fonts and your secondary fonts as well. You will see some pre-existing font combinations that have been recommended. You can pick one out as well. Now let's go back into our website and get started with building. First off, you can click on your color section to select a color. Then after that, you guys can see in our logo space, it just says Lily. So I'm going to write Lily's fashion blog. And then on the right, I'm just going to click on done. Now you will see the cover media is displayed. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on change image. Once I click on change image, I can click on add images or use some stock images as well. I'm going to be using stock images. This depends on your personal style, whether or not you want to include stock images. For most content creators, you're obviously going to be using your own. I'm just going to add this for now. Then after that, you have the wide inset or the fill. Now you can click on edit and choose how you want your images to be cropped or filled out within your header space. And this is really important because certain images might look better zoomed out, certain images might look better zoomed in. So you can go on ahead, add blur, tint, masks, opacity, and edit all types of image properties directly in GoDaddy. You're not going to have to do this separately. And then you can just click on continue and have your image be added. This allows you a seamless integration of your pre-existing media and content onto your website. Now that we've added our image, it's time to customize the text. If I click on the text, it just it gives me a little pop-up on top where I can make it bold, italic, and change the formatting, add bullets, colors, as well as fonts. And I can also get copy suggestions. So. I'm going to remove the base, the secondary text, and I'm just going to add some primary text, which is going to be learn your best styles with me, Lily, like this. And then below that, we have a button. And I think I might want to remove the button. I'm going to click on the button over here. If I remove the action button, I'm just going to uncheck the option and it's removed. Now, once I've done that, we have created, you know, a simple layout. Now, if you want to add more items, you can simply click on add section. And once you click on add section, you can add your own personal style of section. So we have blog, subscribe and more. And if you want, you can click on any section that you have and you can see headlines, paragraphs, social buttons if you want to include them in that section. So below that, we have about Lily or fashion destination. I don't think I want to include this, so I'm going to delete this content altogether. And then this banner section also needs to be removed like so. Now, once I've deleted these sections here, I want to use uh, this gallery section, but I think I want to go with a more, with a more modern gallery. So I'm going to delete this as well, and I'm going to replace it actually. So we're going to be adding a different one instead. I'm going to click on add section here and then on the left we have image gallery and I'm going to click on photo gallery. Now on the right it's displaying several different kinds of galleries that can be used and I'm going to look for something that is nice and sleek. Horizontal scroll, yeah this is what I prefer. I want a scrollable gallery like this and in this I'm going to click on layout. Once I click on the layout, you guys can see you have all other options as well, but I'm going to go with this one. Then we have the background. So the background is this red color. I think I'm going to go with white color. The white color looks better. Then below that, we have the title. So we're going to change that into take a look at some of my famous styled looks. And then below that, I'm going to make the images full width. And I don't want to show thumbnails. I want it to be autoplay. And now I can choose my images. So I'm going to click on this image, click on remove from gallery to remove some of the stock footage of, you know, these random people. And I can add my own, you know, fashion look. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and then go into stock media. I can search for something that I like. So I can search for a model and... Let's say I want to use this image. 
and this image, this image, and I'm going to add these to the photo gallery. Now I'm just going to delete the final image as well. And now I have added my own images. Obviously, you're going to upload your own images over here. Now below that, we have our contact us section and by default, it has pre-existing hours added. So I'm going to click on this and just remove the hours by clicking on the right button. You can obviously add your own. And then we have a simple newsletter and contact us section. And on the bottom, you have a footer. Now I want to create a blog section, so I want this to be in a new page. So I'm going to click on the plus icon on our site navigation and then we can add a new page. This is a premium feature. You can get a seven day trial for the premium features on GoDaddy, but I'm going to proceed with a section over here for our blog. I'm going to click on blog here and you guys can see several different ways that we can display our blogs. So my blogs, my blog, and there are three different layouts. So we have this large picture with simple titles of our blogs and then larger ones and then a newsletter or newsfeed. I like the slideshow because it looks really nice. So below that we have our blogs and currently we haven't written any blogs so it doesn't have any and it's not just going to display any content. So we're going to click on add blogs and you guys can see that it is now creating a separate section in my GoDaddy dashboard for us to start creating blogs and I can click on create new post to start creating my own posts on our GoDaddy website. And once I do that you guys can see I have my post section so you can type your title over here what or let's say it's going to be silver or gold what color should you be wearing silver or gold the final battle for engagement rings and now i'm just going to click on publish you can add a image to this as well but we can go back into our website builder now and then proceed with the rest of our finishing touches for our godaddy website so on the right, we can see it's still in a draft and you guys can see after a rear about section, add a logo as well. We're going to start the task of adding our logo into our site and you can do that by clicking on your header. I uh, don't have a logo for this, so I'm just using text. You can click on upload a logo to upload your own logo. And if you don't know how to create one, simply go on ahead and go into Canva and search for logos and you can find a bunch of different templates that can easily be customized. Now you guys can see it's displaying my blog. I did not add any images to my blog so it doesn't have any, but this is a really big thing which a lot of people don't realize that you can actually create a blog section on the free version of a GoDaddy website without having to purchase site navigation because the blog section can just be added as a section and the blogs are created as separate pages and although you can't add it to your site navigation it still works pretty much the same way if i go into site navigation and i have you know the blog section although it's not accessible from here i can't necessarily add it it's still going to be present and if people click on my blog titles, they would be led to my blog pages. Now, once I've done that, I can click on add section and I can proceed with the rest of my sections. Now, for a lot of people, they are using GoDaddy as a tool to get bookings, to get uh, people to subscribe to their services or, you know, purchase their product. So in that case, you can go into commerce and you can go into your scheduling section and integrate calendars as well as GoDaddy's integrated shopping tools. However, to be able to browse and play around with the shopping tools, you are going to have to upgrade or go with your seven day free trial. Now, once everything has been completed, we are going to go into the messaging section. So this is our messaging pop up that appears on our website. Uh, let us know how we can help and we'll respond shortly name email and how we can help you and this message is going to be sent to my email address that I've used to sign up with GoDaddy. You can choose to disable web messaging as well if you do not want to receive any messages from the visitors of your website. Once completed, you're going to click on preview on the top right and preview the desktop and mobile versions of your website. Now there's this random number that is inserted here and I'm going to click on edit site. And we have this, which I'm going to remove. Yeah, and now it looks much better. Now, once I've done that, I am going to click on publish on the top right. And our website is now being published for free using GoDaddy. Now, although I am publishing this website, one thing I always recommend to everyone is to go through all of the steps. 
So right now, if I click on next steps on the top right, there are certain recommendations that GoDaddy is going to make, such as reviewing my about section, building a logo, uploading media files, as well as improving my site. So GoDaddy is going to also provide you with suggestions, how to grow my audience and how to use some of their newer tools. So make sure to go through all of those steps, but make sure to always go through the first section, which is to get started and customize your about section so it's reflective of your actual website. Now our website is completed. If I go back into my dashboard for my account on GoDaddy, this is what my website looks like. Now I have different features for marketing and different web features all available for free. Now, if I click on domain on the left, I can find a domain for my website. So if I search for it, Lily's Fashion Diaries, I can search for this domain and GoDaddy is going to find me the best price available. So lilysfashiondiaries.com is available for only less than a cent. Uh, why is great fashion is a high value keyword and has an average sale price of $1,000. First year only with a three year term. Then we have lilysfashiondiary.com, lilysfashiondiaries.online liliesfashiondiaries.shop. I have so many amazing domain names available on GoDaddy for the lowest possible prices. And you guys can see their prices are ranging from like under a cent. So for one cent, I can purchase my domain name upwards of like 54 cents. Keep in mind that this really low price is usually for the first year. And after that, you're going to pay a really um, market average price of like $20, $15 for your domain. And that is a pretty reasonable price considering how amazing and simplified their domain purchasing process and setting up process is. Additionally, with these free marketing tools, you also have email tools integrated in GoDaddy. So not only are you able to build your website, but you can send out emails to, to people that are visiting your website. You can also integrate uh, your SEO management tools such as your keywords as well as backlinks and then social posting as well. All that for a low price of $9.99 for the basic plan on GoDaddy's website builder, which allows you to connect a custom domain, add content and design tools with secure SSL certification for your website and a unified inbox and website chat. Not only that, but if you upgrade to their standard plan for only $12 a month, you will have everything in the basic plan, including a built-in SEO tool with Google, 20 social posts and responses per month, and 500 email marketing sends included in your web building plan. Then on the premium version for $15 a month, you're going to have everything included in the standard version, plus unlimited social media platform linking, unlimited posts, as well as 25,000 email marketing sends every month. So there is no reason for you to wait and you can get started with your free website using GoDaddy today. It's simple, easy, and with their intuitive web builder, you can easily get started and make your website in less than an hour. Plus, if you ever want to scrap your website and you're looking to explore some of their premium features, you can get their seven day free trial, explore around, and if you feel like you're not ready to subscribe, you can always downgrade to their free version. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if there's anything else you would like to know. I hope you have a great day ahead and I will see you guys in the next video.